What's up guys, it's Gio from Main Phase here with a live twin sprite deck profile. We went undefeated first place um, and it definitely was a good one. Um, definitely made some changes from last time, uh, from the last video that I did for y'all for sprite twins. Um, so I just thought I'd show it off today uh, just to give y'all the update. I know Nats is around the corner, so feel free to use this, uh, make some changes of your own, throw some spice, whatever is nice. And uh, let's go ahead and get into, get into it. So we're going to start off with the main deck. So to start off, there we go. To start off, we did three Leelas. Um, I mean, obviously, some in the blue. Blue brings out red. Brings out the red. Three red. Uh, I know most people are playing two and then one Frost. Um, but I really wanted... I noticed that I hardly... I mean, sometimes I'll see maybe one um, or uh, a piece of kill or the issue I was having was I would draw, have frost in hand, um, but no sprites, right? So sometimes what I'll do is I'll do normal summon Leela, bring out one of these special summon frost, uh, and then overlay into gigantic. Then later on, when it came down to the grind games, I was one piece of kill short, but that's all I had from, um, the extra deck with my mud cracker being gone already um having six and the one extender was actually pretty nice um it, it felt really balanced to be honest i know some people might you know cringe at the ratios but like i said it, it worked out for me uh today uh, it actually came up against uh manadium uh and it was pretty nice uh then we're doing three sunny snitch uh to help with the consistency if you see too many, well, I mean, for example, let's say you see too many sprites and you have this, I mean, it's full combo basically. Uh, and if you want, I can show y'all combo as well. Uh, then we're running three blues, which is the searcher for sprites. You search the jet, um, three jets, one red, one carrot. Last time I was running two reds, um, but I decided to replace the one red with the with the extender or basically replace the red with the other keys to kill uh main deck monster uh from spells we are doing two starters of course rest in peace since they hit it two two um and then the one smashers um smashers was nice but i don't think it's too needed like it does help with disruptions um but it can be a break if you have no other names it could be something else uh, and then we we're doing the one smashers to OTK for game. Um, this came up against, came up in three uh, of the matches, which was actually pretty nice. Uh, at one point I did side it out for some side cards uh, against Manadium, um, but unfortunately for them, they ended up breaking. So it was okay anyway. We were able to just attack for some board or attack for some damage, uh, have the Sunny Snitch to burn for some. Uh, for the game or on their turn and then set up a whole board to just basically stop them in the tracks uh then for hand traps we are running three ash uh super generic for obvious reasons um we're running three ghost spell um now i know that a lot of people are starting to somewhat either main deck or side deck ghost spell um me personally i would rather have three in the main deck simply because um i don't want to wait to side bell in for uh vanquish souls um any what like branded invoked or not invoked uh yeah invoked you know anything anything that banishes from the grave especially now that people are playing more bestials this bestials really hurt the twins play um so to avoid that this is what that's for this is gonna be offensive and defensive this actually came up for dpe um, which is real nice and saved me from having to waste more resources to try to out the DPE. Uh, then we're playing two Ghost Ogre. Um, Ghost Ogre is actually pretty nice. You know, you hit your field spells. Um, you, for uh, cash, it hits the schisms, uh, depending on how, you know, when they activate it. Your birth, for sure, uh, hurts them, um, especially because birth is a one card starter for cash tier. Uh, then we're playing three Imperms. Um, you know, it's, I guess, great for locking up columns, 
great for stopping the Albaz for using your uh, Link monsters or your twins for um, Mirror Jade. And then the last of the hand traps, we're playing two Magna Mutt and one Drew Swarm. Um, these come in handy against Branded. Uh, plus, it helps the, for whatever reason. Let's say you're to use your uh, your smash or not your smashes, your Gamma Burst. Um, this helps with the extra damage on board. And then this helps to break boards. Um, and then the last four cards we are playing would be two triple tactics, which I saw it almost every single game. Um, this thing just stays stuck in my hand. Uh, and then two econs, which goes in perfectly with the twins. Um, being that since you tribute, bring out the other take their monster take their apple whatever it is um especially against uh Manadium. this can either depending on what they have on field and set can help if you take their apple then great because then you know you stop their baron uh most of the time their synchros are unaffected because of chaos angel um so this definitely it definitely helps but usually you can use it as a bait for the spell uh, trap or the omni negate they have set in the back row um and then let's go on to the extra deck for the extra deck for the sprites we are doing two smashers two smash or two smashers i'm sorry uh two gigantics um i was running one last time because i didn't have the second one uh shout out to caddy for sending me the uh second gigantic um i appreciate that very much we're running the mosquito for the otk depending on how it goes this is actually really nice so when they basically just shit out a bunch of monsters with high attack and they've already you know they have no negates or anything on board you literally can just you know summon a whole bunch of monsters spam them out use go into this and then just start killing them um and then you have the one uh, Sky Cavalry to bounce for like Shangri La. The Onibi Maru um, to banish. The second effect to shuffle back banished monsters actually comes in handy like against Vanquish Soul. Uh, I know they main deck Cherry, so if they get rid of your Gigantic and you have two materials, you can literally crash it, um, leave the materials on there, and then once it goes to Grave, shuffle back the, the two Gigantics that they got rid of. Um, so that way you can continue your play. Uh, we're doing one Zeus. Um, the second one can come up depending on how your matchup goes, um, but I did not summon him at all today. Didn't really need him. Uh, then for the links, we're doing one Mudcracker. Uh, this is the, this is, this card's amazing. The fact that you don't discard for cost, um, you can literally bring back, bring back your twins or, uh, trouble signing. So you could just continue just to go for combo. Uh, for the twins, we are doing two Leelas, two Kisa Kills, um, draw, pop, it's amazing. Uh, we're doing the Nightmare Phoenix, which actually the second effect to where it's co-linked, monsters can't be destroyed by battle, came up, and it was actually pretty nice. Uh, the one sprint to help go into your live twin plays in case you don't see them. If you open up all sprite monsters um you basically go into this dump a leela and then overlay into gigantic bring up keys kill that way you can continue your plays for that uh and then for the link fours we're doing the one trouble sunny and then the one abomination um abomination is nice especially on the grind game because um against trap decks right so bring into this attack pop a card end phase pop a card it's really nice i did not have to bring them up today at all um trouble sunny effect came up maybe once or twice today uh for the non-target sending um but yeah that's the extra deck and then for the side deck for the side deck we're playing three evenly match for trap decks basically just to help either bait on the gates or whatever you need to do depending on what they're playing uh and then three kurikaras um, I usually side these six in, um, in case they do have a negate, you can just tribute their stuff, especially a Baron, tribute the Baron, end phase, bring back the Baron, and you have a negate 
uh, on board. Uh, we're doing three kaiju um, for Hurley's or to get rid of the Chaos Angel um, for the uh, Monadium. And then from there you can, their monsters are now affected. The synchro monsters are now affected. Um, we are doing three anti-spell for going first. Um, I did side this in, but I did not see it. Uh, unfortunately, anytime I saw, um, by the time I saw this, I already was able to go for game. Um, and then three cosmic cyclones, which definitely helps against back row removal. Uh, going second, I will side this in depending on what they're playing. Because nine times out of 10, they will side anti-spell and you just side this in. Uh, which is really, really nice. Um, and then I'll just show you a quick combo. So if we do, so for example, if your hand is, oh, let's actually do Leela. So all you need is literally just these two, right? So you would normal send summon the Leela. Leela effect will bring out the frost. Bring out the frost. You could special summon blue. Blue effect will bring uh, or add. Sorry, add the jet overlay into gigantic. Um, gigantic will bring out. So right here, you can bring the carrot. Um, because then the one that saves you for nib two, um, you already have jet in hand. So you would do jet and then you can add starter. Uh, or if you have the carrot or the red in hand, you can just add smashers. Um, you would activate starter, bring out the red. And then from here, you literally can you can do gigantic sprite to kiss kill go into your evil twin plays this brings back the blue link to the blue blue bring out red or uh kiss a kill i'm sorry and then kiss a kill draw one uh right here depending on what you have you can have hand traps or your uh, set your imperms um you have two choices right you can go if you have smashers set go into another kiss a kill uh that way you have the pop, monster negate, spell trap negate. Uh, you have an extra Kisa kill, so once you come back for the pop, you have a free monster to get rid of. You do smashers, banish, and then use the uh, Lilo effect to summon out the extra Kisa kill to draw. Uh, hopefully into another hand trap or whatever you draw into. Um, that's basically full combo for the sprite if you open up Lila and a sprite monster. Now thing is is if you open up let's say you open up all uh, sprites which it's not a problem so if you're going first you would normal summon the red special summon the blue blue would add jet um, special summon jet jet would bring up starter um, from there you can either activate the starter or hold it you would link into your sprint and then sprint will send a Leela if you're trying to go for the draw you send Leela off a of sprint if you're trying to go for a pop if you're going second or whatever the case may be you would do the opposite so in this case, we're going first. We're trying to go for the draw. Um, so you'll send Leela to Grave. Activate starter. Just bring out a whole nother body. Let's see. Depending, like I said, depending on your hand, uh, you can do another blue. It really doesn't matter. You just need that extra body. Overlay into Gigantic. 
gigantic effect, detach, bring out frost. Let's see, let's do it like that. All right. You would bring out frost, link these two away, bring out Kisa Kill, and then go proceed with your, your combo. Um, Keys to kill, bring out the blue, link, blue, or Lila, bring out Keys to kill, and then get your draw. So, like I said, on in that case, more more times than none, when I see only starters, or uh, starters, when I only see sprites, I usually have a starter in hand already. So if you have a starter in hand already, you can search out the smashers. Um, Basically, what you don't have is what you'll search because either way, you can still get into your life, uh, your evil twin place or your life twin place. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that was the deck profile plus a little combo to show you how I am able to still go into the twins. Um, if you have any questions or, you know, some spice, let me know. I was playing the Soul Scissors. Um, I think Soul Scissors is good if you have Cerberus which in this one we aren't playing um but either way it's still a good card if y'all have any questions feel free to comment hit me up uh don't forget to like subscribe uh hit the notification bell and don't forget to visit mainphase.com for our nice ambu sleeves um and then for all my other tcg players ambu sleeves do come in standard size as well